Hello everyone, my name is Jozef and I am Mr. Musette. This is a new episode of the Create This Book 2 and in this video I will create 3 new prompts. With the first two prompts I struggled a little bit but in the end I think it turned out fine. I'm creating the prompts in order in the book, so the first prompt for this video was create a list of favorites, choose any category, make a list of all your favorites. So first I wrote down the category which I want to draw for this spread and that is cat fees. If you don't know what cat fee might mean, it's cats merged with coffees. So I was thinking that I will draw some cats which would have uh, coffee names and all these cats will sit in a separate cup, each of them, because cats like to sit in different things. So I went with a cappuccino cat, a latte cat, an espresso, macchiato and frappuccino and I tried to use colors which are similar with the coffees. And for each cup I used a different color scheme. But after I had the sketch with the pencil, first I created the line art. And after I had the line art for each cat, I colored them in with some alcohol markers. I bought a cheaper set of alcohol markers only to create this kind of project and the set has 80 markers and the set was around 11 or 12 bucks and they are surprisingly very juicy. The colors are very vibrant and I was very surprised that these alcohol markers don't smell. So I also wrote down the coffee names for each cat. I also added at the end some shading with color pencil to tie everything together. And after I was done with the illustrations, I cut them out and I glued everything in the book. I don't know if I love this spread. I like the cats and the illustrations, but maybe with a colored background I would like it more. So I kept that in mind to do this at the next prompt. The next prompt was create randomness, scatter random things all over this page. So first I wanted to draw different objects which are scattered on this spread, but I saw that a lot of people already did that for this prompt. This is why I search on Google for a random things to draw generator. And I generated a few things which I could draw and after that I decided that I will pick 4 from these generated things to draw and I will create an illustration using them. So I choose the dog, the tulip, the pig and the strawberry. And on the left side of the spread I drew a smaller dog who is holding a huge tulip. And on the right side of the spread I drew a pig who is holding also a huge strawberry plant. Did I consider fully the prompt because it says that scatter random things all over this page? Maybe not, but I like how at the end the illustrations turned out. So as usual I created the line art with the fine liner 
and for this one as well I used the alcohol markers. And this time for both of the illustrations I added a background, a simple triangular shapes which I rounded at the corners and I also added some horizontal lines in the triangular shape. This filled the background a little bit more with details and also it's a lot more easier to color in the background with uh, an alcohol marker and don't make it very streaky. I added some color pencil shading for this ones as well. I cut the illustrations out and I glue everything in the book. And I love how vibrant the colors are. And the third and final prompt for this video was great shine, figure out a way to make this page shiny. So I have a lot of metallic watercolors in my collection and this was the best opportunity to use the watercolors to create this prompt. And I already knew what I want to illustrate for this one. I decided that I will merge the sun and the moon in a single illustration. So this time after I created the sketch with a graphite pencil, first I started to color in the illustration using the metallic watercolors. And only after I colored in the sun and the moon, I added the line art. Because when you are using metallic watercolors and if you want to have a very shiny surface, you need to use the watercolors very opaquely. And that might cover your line art if you create the line art before the coloring. After I was done with the coloring, you can see how shiny the illustration is already because of my ring light. I added with a fine liner the black line art off camera because the illustration was very shiny and because of my lights I couldn't see where I need to add the line art. After I was done with this step, I decided to add some background color as well. So on the left side of the page where the sun is, I used some blue watercolor to create the sky. And on the right side where the moon is, I used the black ink to fill in the background and a white Posca pen to add some white stars. This page looks a little bit simple but I think it's my favorite and I really like how all the metallic watercolors look and I love how shiny this page is. Let me know in the comment section which prompt was your favorite from today's video and if you are new here feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell because I create this kind of art content quite often. Until my next art related video you can follow me on my Instagram account which is linked in the description of the video where I post also projects which I create off camera. Thank you for watching and and I will see you in my next video.